Hey, you, before you watch this, pause the f***ing video and subscribe to Semi-Pro right now. The Rams are two years removed from a Super Bowl appearance, but they have lost a few key players and have started to slide. But don't sleep on Los Angeles. They're still a good team with the bones of a competing roster. The Rams may have missed the playoffs in 2019, but they still performed like a good team with the 12th highest net points in the NFL, and that was with a first place schedule. You might look at this Los Angeles team and think they lost some key pieces over the offseason, like Todd Gurley, Clay Matthews, and Brandon Cooks. But don't fret, those three players are all bigger names than what they produce on the football field. The running back is, in my opinion, the least important position in football and the easiest position to replace. You look at the modern NFL and you see guys like Chris Carson and Philip Lindsay step up to be 1,000 yard rushers despite not being drafted very high in the draft. And Todd Gurley was a liability last season, not only because of his recurring knee problems, but also because he's one of the highest paid running backs in the NFL in the midst of a four year, $60 million contract, and that is eating up a lot of cap space on the books. Even though Gurley is a former MVP, he has turned into more of a liability than an asset in his recent seasons, and LA has done a good job of trying to replace him. They have drafted running backs in the first three rounds, both of the last two NFL drafts, with Daryl Henderson and Cam Akers, and they still have Malcolm Brown on the roster to try to fill out that running back position. Clay Matthews didn't play as well as he did in Green Bay, but he still did put up some solid numbers. And LA did a pretty solid job of replacing him as well, picking up Terrell Lewis in the third round of the draft and signing free agent Leonard Floyd to fill Matthews' role at the linebacker position. Neither of these guys are going to be star players right away, but Matthews wasn't a star in Los Angeles either, so they are replacing his limited production. And then comes Brandon Cooks. Cooks doesn't exactly need replacing. People seem to forget that the Rams still have Cooper Cup and Robert Woods on their roster, who are two of the best receivers in all of football. And that goes along with Josh Reynolds, who is a capable third receiver, Gerald Everett, who is a solid tight end, and Tyler Higby, who finished the season on an astronomical stretch. But the Rams still did address receiver during the draft, taking Van Jefferson in the second round to replace Cooks. The rest of the offense is rounded out by quarterback Jared Goff, Granted, Goff does have his limitations, and he isn't the most talented quarterback in the league by any margin, but he is married to Sean McVay, who is the perfect fit for him and can mold the entire offense around his strengths and try to mitigate Goff's weaknesses. The biggest question mark is the offensive line. When the Rams made it to the Super Bowl in 2018, the line was one of the best in all of football, but last year, they lost a key member in Roger Saffold, Andrew Whitworth is getting older, and the rest of the line is still decent. Did they perform as well as they did in 2018? Absolutely not. But they are still capable and can hopefully get back to form next season. What people really seem to forget about is the defense. The Rams still have the best defender in all of football in Aaron Donald, who by himself can single-handedly lead a defense. But he doesn't have to. He's joined on the defensive front by Michael Brockers, Greg Gaines, and Ashawn Robinson. That is a scary defensive front. The Rams have some solid pass rushers with Sam Ibukam and the new addition of Leonard Floyd. Are they great? No. Are they serviceable? Maybe. Are they below average? Probably. But are they terrible? Probably not. But still maybe. The pass rushers and linebackers might not be the greatest, but the secondary is still pretty solid. Jalen Ramsey has solidified himself for years as a number one corner, and Troy Hill played very well last season to solidify himself as a number two. And the safety duo is pretty good as well, with John Johnson and Taylor Rapp protecting the back end for Los Angeles. The Rams definitely have holes, and they aren't the Super Bowl caliber team that they were two seasons ago, but they are good, and they have some undeniable star power. Right now they're getting disrespected 
with some people claiming that they are the worst team in the NFC West. But they have proven over the last two seasons that they are a solid team and they have the pieces to be one yet again. And with an extra playoff spot up for grabs, the Rams could be in the postseason. 